Hi, I'm Rydian, and this is the Fantasy Star Online 2 New Genesis, or PSO2 NGS Closed Beta Test Weekend. A lot of people have had questions about the graphical settings of this game, can they run it, so I figured I'd show what the graphical settings do and certain things you can do to improve performance. Right now I'm running it at pretty much minimum settings. You cannot turn shadows of characters off, and there are also cloud shadows that I don't seem to be able to turn off. Not all graphical settings work properly. If we go into System Options Graphics, there's actually presets here simple graphic settings, but these don't appear to work just yet. Um, so you can see all the various toggles here. Uh, two of them I will note. Texture resolution cannot be changed on the fly, that's why it's still on high. Uh, there's not that much of a difference. I think that if you're having performance issues, you could ch change it to low and you wouldn't see that much of a difference. Now another thing is 3D rendering resolution. This is a newer setting, and this can actually lower the resolution that the game renders at without affecting the actual screen size or the user interface. So let me show you. Let's go stand near this thing and let's lower it. So you can see between low, medium, and high, there's definitely some differences. This is quite pixelated. Zoom in on the character, you can definitely see it's pixelated and chunkier. However, the user interface has not changed. The game is still showing all the text and interfaces without squishing them or anything. And lowering your rendering resolution has a huge impact on performance. So if you're struggling even with low settings, try lowering your rendering resolution. There's also a setting to have it automatically adjust. I'll be turning it back to high. So let's show some spells first. So the basic fire spell looks like crap on minimum settings, honestly. Like that, that just looks like crap right there. Now the basic ice spell looks kind of decent. Let's see, thunder spell looks okay. And then a more advanced spell like the fire explosion, uh, that looks okay. Now let's actually look over off in the distance. Let's just ignore that fight going on down there. Look off in the distance while changing some settings. So turning some of them on, you can see effect light source, terrain lighting, camera lighting, turn that up, bloom, light rays, volumetric fog, effect distortion rendering, fur rendering, blur. Now I will be turning blur back off because even though blur kind of works in this game, I personally don't like motion blur. So I'm going to turn that off. It also tends to mess with the recording a bit. Color tone curve is what other games may call color correction. So if I go over here, look at the grass, and I turn it on, you may see that it gets a little bit dulled. I guess it depends on the game's uh, light. Oh, wait. <laughs> I turned the wrong thing on. There we go. There we go. Oh, actually, that made it more saturated. Okay, I guess it depends on the time of day. So many of these are personal preference. Tone curve, the field, tessellation, anti-aliasing... Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's FXAA, which is the kind of speedy anti-aliasing that just kind of uh, slightly blurs the rendered image without affecting the user interface. Then TAA is more akin to multi-sampling anti-aliasing, and then the highest setting uses both. Let's see. Alright, screen space shadows on and off. So that's, you know, a shadow quality setting. Now we get to actual shadow quality. Now let's look off into the distance while we're doing this. You can see that cloud shadows are still going as clouds pass overhead. Again, I can't figure out how to turn that one off. Um, if we turn the sh shadow quality up, we can see that the shadow's distance increases. So at 2 and 1. Whoops. You can see that some things in the distance don't have proper shadows. But as it goes up, you can see that now suddenly, like, the mountain in the distance has a shadow. Let's see. Cloud quality. That doesn't really seem to do anything right now. Particle quality. Turn that up. Okay, there we go. So... Leave that off. So this, this is pretty much running the game at high settings right now, minus uh, blur. And you can see the game still runs fine. The game definitely, uh, definitely looks better. You can see it still runs kind of fine for me. There are definitely some performance concerns with the game, especially when things get a little more hectic. But you can see spells definitely look a lot more improved. The fireball just looks better. Yo. Especially the fire explosion, you can see that there's lighting changes when it happens that aren't there on lower settings. But as with any game, you can, you know, change the settings up and down or turn various ones on and off as you see fit. Let's see. Traveling over here to where the shadows are. So going to the... There we are. Shadow quality, 
You can see that this is not actually the resolution of shadows, but this is how far away that the shadows are rendered. And as you can see, there are some lag spikes here. This game definitely does have some performance concerns with lag spikes, especially the initial loading into a map. There, there's concerns with that and some fast travel. It's pretty okay once you're transitioning. So I will transition back in town. When you get close to a loading barrier, you'll notice like a grid show up on screen. It may be hard to see in the recording, but you can see this grid right here in front of me. So when you cross over this grid, you'll start loading and you'll see that the outside of the world actually becomes low detail because this is kind of a separate map. So the town is full detail. You can see the trees over here are nicely detailed. However, if we look at the trees that are just outside of town on the other side of the loading barrier, you can see that, frankly, they look like crap. Like, look at that. That's like N64 tree right there. You can even see it's a billboard. It's just a flat texture. But this is just because this is outside the area that you'd actually be interacting with, because I have the town loaded. If I were to walk out here, we can see that the tree is actually replaced with the model. You can see it's actually a very nice smooth transition they have here. It's just the loading speeds are a concern. Um, we have heard that requirements will be lowered once the game has fully released because the game is still being worked on. Like I mentioned, there are some graphical settings that don't work yet. There's various bugs. You know, this is a closed beta test and there's various menu options that don't even function right now. However, hopefully things improve. And as you can see, I am using an i5 CPU and a GTX 970. And in town with, you know, a low medium-ish number of players, I'm performing about well with high settings. Now, personally, once things start getting into hectic combat, there'd probably be frame rate drop. So personally, I will be turning some of the settings down. But, you know, you'll have to fiddle with it yourself. So if you're worried about being able to run NGS, if you're a PSO2 player, just remember, try turning the rendering resolution down and you may be impressed by the performance gain.